Hi everyone, it's Misty with My Paper Cuts and today I would like to share a couple of mini banners that I've made using these Color Your Own Ornaments from the Dollar Tree. For today's banners I use these witches hats. You do get five in a package for a dollar and they are made out of wood. And for the first banner I used this paper collection. It's a six by six pad that I picked up at Tuesday morning. I did pick this one up this year, but it was available last year as well, called Midnight Haunting. And this banner says Eerie. Decided not to go with Spooky this time, kind of wearing that one out. I did use the old book paper again. I really like the way that looked on my first banner. The same font cut a little smaller, but done with the same glitter and a spider web from a smaller die. There's a little bit of gauze there behind it and some twine. And the backs are just covered with black paper. I did bring a knot through the back through the hole and then covered it with a spider because I preferred the spider than over the knot on the top there. And all of these are pretty much exactly the same. Just a different paper on each one. and maybe switch out the color of the twine. I did use natural black and just one of them with orange just for balance. But that is my first one. For the next one, I did one of my favorite subjects and that would be Harry Potter. And I used this paper collection. Love this paper collection is called Wizard World and I ordered a font off of Etsy that was specifically for Harry Potter and I used this glitter from Tuesday morning on the letters. It is the black with all that fantastic pop of color in there. And here is the banner that I used this collection for. It just says Harry. I think I'm going to go ahead and make one that says Potter so I can have the whole thing on my fireplace. But I did try to make the letters look as if they are floating by attaching them to the hats with acetate. Not sure if you can see that there. And then again with the paper. And each hat has this fabric tied around it just for some texture this glitter star is on all of them and then I chose a piece of ephemera for each one. So again with the that one has the quill and the paper has the ties. Of course you've got to have the glasses. It's a must for Harry Potter. The phoenix there and of course the flying key. And again, you can see there in the, it catches the light, that piece of acetate that's holding that letter so it looks like it's floating below the hat. Anyway, that's my quick uh, mini banner share using up those ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I bought a ton of them, so I am making another Harry Potter where the hats do look like the sorting hat with the texture in the face and everything, but I started with the actual pattern paper for just one that was a bit brighter and had more color. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for stopping by to check out my banners. Have a great day.